This next part uh, in my accessory list is one of my favorites. I bought it based upon recommendations I saw on YouTube and I uh, honestly it's one of those parts that I would pay three times its price for. It, it just it provides so much enjoyment while shooting and that is the Limb Saver recoil pad. Now you'll get into a lot of debate and um, you'll come across the macho guys that say oh yeah I'll shoot a three inch magnum slug no problem uh, shoulder doesn't even hurt well these guns can put out a fair amount of recoil and honestly when I first got the gun um, it had the Magpul furniture with the Magpul pad that Magpul pad sucks it the first shot I did out of this gun it made me regret getting the gun I honestly even though I had shot a 500 before that Magpul pad it, it's just it's so horrible that it kicked hard and it was really harsh and it just it transferred all of that into my shoulder. The thing that saved me was that this recoil pad was another one of those things that I bought before I actually bought the gun. So I had this in my possession. I just wanted to try the Magpul recoil pad just to compare it. Absolute garbage. Um, I think it's even worse than the uh, factory Mossberg pads that come on the wood furniture stocks and the synthetic stocks. Now you can't just get the Limb Saver recoil pad for this gun. They don't make them. You have to get the Limb Saver recoil pad for the Remington 870 and then get this adapter plate that adapts 870 pads to the SGA furniture from Magpul. Many people have done this before and it's quite popular on the Mossberg owners forum so I did it myself because I you know I had seen pictures of what it would do and reviews of how nice they are and man you go on Amazon and read through the reviews, there's not a single negative thing about this. Everybody loves them. And it, it honestly transforms and makes shooting much more enjoyable. I can shoot three inch magnum slugs all day and seconds after shooting, I forget what it felt like because it's the recoil is no longer harsh. It no longer leaves a mark. It doesn't bruise you, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't sting. It's just, it's a push, but it doesn't hurt and it, it just makes it much, much more enjoyable. To adapt it to the uh, Magpul SGA stock for the Mossberg, you need two things. You need the Limb Saver recoil pad, which is part number 10100. That is for the Remington 870 mount, which has these two screws here that go into the Remington 870 stock. Then you need this plastic piece, which is, that is the Magpul SGA Remington 870 adapter, part number MAG318. It's a $10 part. It's dirt cheap and it's well worth it. All it does is adapt the Remington 870 screw pattern to the SGA stock. That's all it does. And you can use that on the 870 itself as long as you have an SGA stock. It basically adapts any Remington 870 Bariqua pad to any Magpul SGA stock. This combination, like I said, it, it adds a little bit of width in there. I don't know if you can see that, which is fine, but it it's such a soft material. I mean, it, it's not soft to the point where it just mushes down to nothing, but it's it's kind of soft on the inside and it gets harder on the outside edges. And it, with the adapter and the pad, it, it almost looks factory. I mean, it, the lines match and it, it just, it fits well, basically. Honestly, I can't recommend it enough. It's one of these things that I would pay two to three times the price for, just because it makes it so much more enjoyable. These pads, Limb Saver makes them for all kinds of guns. They even make them and they're really popular for the AR-15 platform with the Magpul stocks like the CTR. They, they just bolt right on, they're grippy, and they hold on to your shoulder a lot more. They're soft. They, they, the best way I can describe it is that it takes the harshness out of the recoil. And it just, if you have a chance, try one out. You will not be sorry that you spent the money on it. So that wraps up the video. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something. If you have any questions, please write them in a comment below.